You remember when AOC, when we urged her to uh, do what she campaigned on, she said us urging her to do that and holding her accountable. She said it was violence. She says that's not tone. That's violence. The words are violence. She usually so she's a big victim. What that really means was translation. I'm voting for Nancy Pelosi again yes. without doing what I repeatedly promised I'd do, fight for Medicare for all and force the vote. There will never be a better time to do this. I know it's immoral to not leverage power in this historic moment. Too bad Bernie bros are mean. <laughs> so that's what that was. And now here she is. Here she is doing, a, she's going to talk about our sto stochastic terrorism. <laughs> Do you know what stochastic terrorism means? The public demonization of a person or a group resulting in the incitement of a violent act, which is statistically probable, but those specifics cannot be predicted. The lone wolf attack was apparently influenced by the rhetoric of stochastic terrorism. That's unbelievable that that, that word ain't going to take off how they want it to, by the way, because it has stochastic in the beginning. Yeah, and it sounds no, the sarcastic. Original, yeah, the original terrorism was they, they understood dumb people. Yeah. You know, people don't know all these fancy stochastic is not going to. So cut what's it. this saying is that other people are responsible. You're, you're other people. You're responsible it's for nothing other things is what's really what it's saying. It's saying you're responsible for other people's actions. So like when that guy uh, shot those Republican congressmen on the yeah. basketball court and he said he, he did that because he watched Rachel Maddow. Yeah, that would be Rachel Maddow's fault. She's a stochastic terrorist. That would she Rachel Maddow would be a stochastic terrorist as well as a war pig. As well as a war pig. But here. So but they, they never use it the other way. Here's um, here's what she said. I think both of us were in alignment on. Did you feel safe sitting there with him? I think it's uncomfortable. Um serving with people who engage in what many experts deem stochastic terrorism, which is the incitement of violence in a, uh, which is an incitement of violence using digital means and large platforms. So that individual themselves may not be the one that's wielding a weapon. Um, but I have had to ride as, a, as has representative Omar. This is someone who literally voted to send a hundred billion dollars of weapons to kill people being upset that someone else uses words. <laughs> this is amazing. This look, is look, that that's not terrorism. What we're doing into to the people in Ukraine, what we're doing, what we that's not terrorism. And she keeps voting for it. But words are it tells, terrorism. Dude, it tells you what what she, she's like. It's very telling because she's going what they're doing is telling the truth about what she does. And that and pisses people her, off. <laughs> and in her mind, she goes, people would kill me if they knew what I actually do. You got to keep it down and not mention it to people. They're going to get mad. So let's watch this from the beginning. Both of us were in alignment on. Did you feel safe sitting there with him? I think it's uncomfortable. Did you, did you feel safe <laughs> sitting in Congress? That's what they're saying. She had to tone it down. It was uncomfortable. Did you feel safe? Did you feel safe? You're so you're safe. I mean, we know you were safe, um, but did you feel like serving it? with people who engage in what many experts deem experts. stochastic terrorism? Many. Experts. How many experts? How, could you? Ma I'm an expert in stochastic. <laughs> what's that? Stochastic terrorism. I'm an expert in it. Stochastic. What many experts say, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is the incitement of violence mm. in a. Uh, which is an incitement of violence using digital means and large platforms. So that individual themselves may not be the one that's wielding a weapon. Um, but I have had to ride, as, a, as has Representative Omar, I've had to, consistently had to ride in 20,000 pound armored vehicles in, um, in, you know, engaging in some of the most gruesome threats that you can imagine uh, that were incited by Republican members. This is not just about a tweet. It is about what life looks like and and the and the marshalling of hundreds, thousands, if not millions of people um, into doing something. So and Donald Trump knows that very well. And he uses and used his rallies very strategically in order to engage in political intimidation of what he deemed his political enemies. You think Donald Trump will be the Republican nominee? I mean, we may see. He will either be the nominee or he will burn down anyone who isn't him who's the <laughs> So is that like when they said to go to the Supreme Court justices' houses? Yeah. Because you're mad about Roe v. Wade. That would be yeah. stochastic terrorism. That would that would be. Yeah. I don't know if you're can you find Maxine Waters? Can you find the video of Maxine Waters where she said 
uh, the same thing. She said, go bother them. When, as soon as Trump got elected, she said, go bother them in, um, in restaurants. And they did. Remember that? Yeah, Do you remember they were, they were they were confronting everybody in the Trump stochastic team? terrorism. Yeah, that that was actual terrorism. Oh yeah, right. right? Well, her saying to do it was this. Sto- I mean, I wouldn't even say it's stochastic. That's incitement to do it. Stochastic is when you go AOC is doing a, a shitty job, and then she goes, "Oh my God, you're going to get me killed." I think she even used the word har- harass. I know it happened in June 25, 2018. I'll send it to... I'll send so it this to. is CNN. CNN says, Representative Maxine Waters called on her supporters to publicly confront and harass members of the Trump administration. <laughs> is that stochastic terrorism? That's why... Like, yeah. did, did, so did, did those people ever tell me to directly harass you? Maybe they did. I, I don't know. Uh... The California Democrat and vehement critic of President Donald Trump made the comments on Saturday, first at a rally and later at a television interview. The comments, which come after several Trump administration officials have been recently protested at restaurants. So it was after they were being confronted. She even said that afterwards. That have raised questions about the state of American political discourse and we're seized on blah, 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 blah. Wow. So remember that? But I guess that's not stochastic it's just not going to take off because the bottom line is we have laws about incitement to violence. There already are laws. So be- this nonsense thing you can only use here on CNN. Yes. And the average person is not going to, like 9-11 took off with people. They, with stochastic terrorism? That sounds like words are violence. It's awfully close it to is. that. Yeah. It is. That is what that is. So words, you- are, words are terrorism. That's what they're saying. <laughs> Go ahead. You, so in this in this clip, she says, if you see somebody from the cabinet um, if, at a restaurant, at a gas station, you get out and you create a crowd and you push back on them. What? So here is Maxine Waters uh, doing her her version of stochastic terrorism. So here we go. We want history to record that we stood up, that we pushed back, that we fought. That we did not consider ourselves victims of this president. You have members of your cabinet uh, that are being booed out of restaurants. Who have protesters taking up at their house. Who sang no peace, no sleep. No peace, no sleep. And if you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd. And you push back on them. And you tell them they're not welcome. Maybe I don't know. That sounds pretty stochastic to me. But it's a new thing. And only AOC is is the target. She's the only one who's ever been targeted ever for anything ever. Hey, everybody, we're doing live stand-up comedy. We're going to Tempe, Palm Springs, Milwaukee, Nashville, Northampton, Massachusetts, Syracuse, New York, Co-host, New York, Hartford, Connecticut, and Washington, D.C. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for all those tickets. Mm-hmm.